Hi, I'm Kylie from Freedom Vans, and I'm here today to show you our latest project. This is a four-wheel drive 170 Mercedes Sprinter van, the Freightliner version. We built this van for clients that live out in the San Juan Islands. So this is their mainland adventure home on wheels. They love to bike, to kayak, to really do everything outdoors. So this will be a really nice space to fit all of their activities, but also to enjoy their time together inside as well. In this van, we added three windows, two AMA slider windows, one in the sliding door, one by the dinette. And then in the back, we added a 10 by 33 slider window in the bed area. We went with fully vented windows, so slider windows, because they let in a lot of airflow. The other windows that you'll see us install our awning windows and what's nice about the awning windows is that they open up so they are waterproof you don't have to worry about closing them if it's raining on top of this van we have a roof rack that we made in-house this roof rack is designed to carry a fiona f80s awning a front high beam light the led high beam light is so nice when you're driving at night, it gives you 10 times the amount of visibility that you would normally have. And then we also have some reverse lights in the back and those LEDs really help at night when you're reversing just to be able to see the entire exterior of the van. A couple of other exterior components that we have on this van. We do have an electric sliding step that comes down when you're opening the sliding door. This is really nice for the four wheel drive vans because it gives you a lot of clearance under the van when the doors close. We also upgraded the wheels and tires. We went with the Relation Race wheels and the BFG Goodridge tires. They're the KO2, so they're really off-road ready. Let's go ahead and head over to the front bumper. Paired with our wheels and tires, we do have front and rear Falcon adjustable shocks. And then we've also upgraded their rear leaf spring to a 5,400 pound um, plus rated leaf spring, which will be really great for these sprinter vans. Um, the extra weight in the back just helps for such a smooth ride, but upgrading those leaf springs really helps with the weight. In the front of the van here, we have the California tuned off-road bumper and then this midi built winch. Adding a winch to the front of the vehicle is really great for vehicle recovery. Having a winch on our personal van, um, Tom likes to get us into these situations that are probably a little over our head. Um, so beware when your partner wants a winch, but overall we have a lot of fun with it. On the back of the van, we have the Illumines rear door ladder. The two main ladders that we'll put are the side mount ladder or the rear door ladder. We really like that the rear door ladder gives you a little bit more clearance on this side. It works out really well because they don't have rear door windows, although the majority of the ladder is off to the side, so it won't cover your windows too much anyway. Um, we like the side mount ladders when someone is maybe putting on a paddleboard mount as well so you can hold a paddleboard on the side of your van and then also when you're tying boats down on top of your van it's super nice to be able to access it from the side let's go ahead and check out the garage space love the garage spaces on these vans i think that they're just so useful to have to put all your dirty gear in the garage space, we have lights on the back of the doors that are both individually switched. These are great for loading in gear at night. On the passenger side of the van, we have the water system, water tank, hot water heater, wash down kit with a high pressure pump, and an outdoor shower. In the center of the van, we have these gear trays. One has custom made bike mounts, and then the other one's nice and open. These gear trays are built on 500 pound slides and they fully extend, 
locking in and out of place. They go all the way to the back of the garage. On the driver's side of this van, we have their lithium battery system with some additional shelving. We have 400 amp hours of lithium batteries. We sized up a little bit because they do have an induction cooktop. We also sized up their inverter. We have a 3000 watt inverter and then all of the overcurrent protection, battery on off switch, all that fun stuff is in there too. Let's talk about the bed platform for one second. We have this beautiful maple headboard. We have maple throughout this van. This is a piece that Tom milled locally as is the spalted maple, which you'll see inside. And then underneath the bed platform, we added a chevron design to the bed platform that serves for ventilation of the mattress. All right, it's pretty cold out here. Why don't we head inside for an interior tour now? <laughs> Welcome inside the van. Insulation makes a huge difference, everyone. It already feels so much warmer in here. This van truly feels like a little cabin on wheels. It's so cozy in here. I really love their choice of fabric and how it complements the wood tones throughout. The fabric in the back area is next to the bed which will be great because it'll keep them nice and warm and cozy at night it'll be a lot warmer to touch on cool nights the fabric also makes it a little bit quieter whereas we have wood in the front on the cabinet faces the overhead cabinets and the closet faces we have spalted maple and our carpenter did a really good job of book matching the maple pieces so that they all really seamlessly come together in the back we have their bed we did a lengthwise bed for them which gives them more storage underneath the bed and it'll also make it so that when they get out of the bed they don't have to crawl over each other they do lose some interior space and this is a similar design to how we've been doing it's based very much off the fitzroy although it doesn't have an interior shower it has the exterior shower connection we do have a toilet in this van which I think you'll all be happy to see and um, I'll show you the little changes that we made to accommodate the full-length bed in this van. In the partition wall underneath the bed we have a little closet space which is unique to our vans. It'll be a great spot to put dog food, any taller items, and just it's great storage that's easily accessible from inside of the van. Next to the closet, we have a little flip-up shelf that will allow them to step into bed. The bed is built to be 36 inches high, which is where we typically put our beds so that you can fit bikes with the front wheel off underneath the bed. So moving into the kitchen space, we have a large stainless steel sink and a cutting board insert to give them extra countertop space. They do have a one burner induction cooktop and an outlet easily accessible. They also have a microwave above here along with a little overhead cabinet and some shelving. Underneath the sink, they have some storage, their five gallon gray tank jug, and they have a three stage water filter which comes out right here with their little water filter faucet. A little bit of drawer space will be great for some silverware. This is a pretty large refrigerator. I believe it's about four cubic feet. And what's different about this refrigerator is it's actually a drawer style fridge. So underneath here, they have lots of refrigerator space. And then on the top, they do have a freezer and they wanted to be able to fit ice cream in here. Um, which I think that is a great space for that. On the driver's side of the van, starting from the back, they do have a closet space. This closet is really awesome. They have tons of shelves in here, and then they do have a really good sized mirror, which you don't find very often in vans. Tons of drawer space here in their closet space. They have three big drawers, and then underneath, they have a nature's head composting toilet. So this toilet will be super easy for them to access just getting out of bed in the middle of the night. The composting toilets are really cool because they have two compartments. They separate liquids and solids 
and that is what cuts down on a lot of the smell. Um, the composting toilet doesn't permeate a smell at all. It's good for 60 to 80 uses. People typically um, just take it out and you dump it into a trash bag every three to four weeks. In the control panel, we have the battery monitor, the air filter, underbody fan monitor, diesel cabin heater monitor, all the monitors. Um, and then the inverter switch and we have a light switch here as well. Underneath the overhead cabinet, we have some under cabinet lighting. We have our LTE booster and then we have a sound bar. We love to just upgrade the sound in these vans with sound bars. It's a simpler solution than doing a full sound system. The sound bar is separate from your front radio system, but Bluetooth to your phone and the way that it's pointed will fill the van, but also point out the sliding door. We have this nice little dining nook. It does go from a dinette to a little lounge space. There is storage underneath the dinette. We also have our air filter and our cabin heater stored there too. This will just be a really nice little space for them to enjoy meals, tea, coffee together, um, and enjoy a great view. Thank you so much for um, going on this tour with us today, checking out our latest work. I love how this van turned out. It's so cozy and I'm so excited to hear about their adventures. This is, like I said, just such a sweet couple. This van is named Timba. Timba was the golden retriever of these clients. Um, Timba, they found out, had cancer while we were building the van and passed away um, a few weeks, maybe a month ago. And this will just be such a good legacy van. A great way to appreciate the legacy and all of the memories that they enjoyed with their pup, who was so a part of their family, they loved so much. On a happy note, its first trip is going to be um, a trip to Utah to pick up a new golden retriever puppy that will be sharing lots of amazing memories with them in this van. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and um, we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects that feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.